Welcome to my new series of speedy AI updates. This morning, May 29th, DeepSeek officially announced the release of DeepSeek R1 v2, even though they have already published the weights yesterday. In what seems like an official Chinese announcement, they called this a minor upgrade. But in the official Twitter announcement, they included their official benchmark on top evals against top models, and no parts of it looks minor at all. They stated that there are improvements on front end capabilities, reduction in hallucinations, and now fully support JSON output and function calling. Without boring you out analyzing the benchmark, we are seeing around 20% increase in performance from R1v1 to R1v2. With R1v2 aka 052a now outperforming the newest Gemini Pro 0506 50% of the time and just lagging slightly behind OpenAI's 03. Their ADER leaderboard score is also on par with Claude 4 with and without thinking. Since this R1v2 is open weights and was released yesterday, a lot of third party benchmarks have already had the chance to evaluate it. For artificial analysis, R1v2 now ranks as the third best model, right behind O3 and O4 Mini. For EQ Bench that measures creative writing, it actually performs worse than the previous R1 and the newest V30324. For Agentic Toy Use, it performs decently better than Gemini 2.5 Pro on one benchmark, but is still behind Claude 4 and GPT-40. For the coding physics test, it does have a decent improvement, but still looks weird. My initial vibe test tells me that it loves structured output like nested bullet points similar to Gemini, but doesn't write as many paragraphs, which resembles O3. Its thinking process may be a bit questionable, but it still performs decently on basic logical questions. The generation speed is still pretty slow on their official website, and I don't think their context window has increased. Meanwhile, they also distilled the chain of thought reasoning process from R1v2 to post train Quen 3 AB based model, just like what they did initially when R1 came out. This model achieved state of the art performance for open source models on the AMI 2024 benchmark, surpassing Quen 3 AB by 10% and matching the performance of Quen 3 235B thinking, which is basically the second best open source model right now. While the distilled model is still behind uncoding or scientific facts, it is still a pretty insane performance boost, especially for an AB model. You can now download both the original model and the distilled Quen 3 model on a hugging phase, and you can also try R1v2 now on their official website. So yeah, that's it for this video. Let me know if you like this kind of format. If you want to stay up to date on AI research, check out my newsletter, and I'll see y'all in the next one.